Hello again. So I have been super happy because on Sunday I was finally able to buy the German doll I wanted and I helped my dad pay for her and yeah she cost she was about five hundred dollars but I did learn that she is worth twenty eight hundred to three thousand dollars so I think it, I think she's well worth it and I do not plan on selling her I really don't unless for some crazy reason I needed to anyway here she is I just gotta be very careful I don't want to harm her at all and she is old she's I believe she's from the late 1800s I know her let me try to show more of her Let me fix her arm a little bit. And her, her arms are very, very flexible. And this here, if I can show you. Anyway, she had, let me just say she's got a little watch on. Here's, here's what she looks like. Let me bring this closer so you guys can show you. And she's, so yeah, she's quite old. And the hair isn't the original hair. It is a wig, but it doesn't come off, of course. I'm pretty sure it's glued on. And I do know that the previous, as far as I know, the previous owner, not the lady I bought her from, because I bought this doll at an antique store here in town, but the one that had her before that, she, I think she was from Belgium. I have the paperwork about her and everything. I am not exactly sure what kind of doll she is. I think she might be a Simon and How big doll. I'm, that's what I read on the back of one of her photos. And I do know that she, for the past, for a few years, she was in a museum in Phoenix, Arizona. Let me try to show you the rest of her instead of just babbling on. I'm sorry. Let me fix her legs first. I don't want to hurt, break them. I'm seriously just trying to fix her legs because I don't want to hurt them. Anyway, let me back up some. Here's her hair. She's got a little barrette inside of her hair. And so yeah, I am very happy that I finally got her. I've had my eye on her for about a year now and I was finally able to help at least help pay half of how much she cost. And I just can't believe what good condition she is in. Sure, she has little cracks on her hands and stuff, but come on, she's from the late 1800s. I would say she's in pretty darn good condition. Here's her legs. And I read on the paper she's got a saw Sohn or Songberg body. It's a combination of two kinds of bodies. And then, and I read that the one body parts, some of the body parts, were from, I believe, 1885, and then the others are from 1890. Anyway, but otherwise, I think she could be a Simon and Halbert, Simon and Hal big doll. I did go ahead and give her a name. I've named her Sonia. I looked at her and I said, I'll just name her Sonia. So I feel very lucky to have her. And maybe someday, maybe, I will sell her, but not in the near future. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.